Hello and welcome to this video which will be on a little more on least for regression line predictions and getting into the residuals, the difference between the observed and the prediction line. Okay, so let's start off. Well, I already go, went ahead and did the scatter plot. I scaled it, labeled it, and all that. So let's go ahead and find the model. Let's find the model, the least square regression line. Okay, if you think you're good at it, go ahead and pause the video. Go ahead and try it on your own. Okay. While I go ahead and do it. So it's height equals, and I have to find this. Okay. So let me bring my calculator in. Okay, so what I did, I'll just show you to verify. I have my data in L3 and L4 just to show you some variations of what to do. Okay, when um, they're not, if you don't want to use L1 and L2, okay, you don't have to be forced to use L1 and L2 every single time. Okay, all right, so now that we have our data in there, okay, um, let's go ahead and find all of our data and here I'll just talk through this so the, to find our slope and our y-intercept you want to hit stat arrow over to the right to calc and you want to hit 8 okay so now remember our data is not in list 1 list 2 anymore it's in list 3 and list 4 so when your data is not in list 1 and list 2 you have to put these in there okay you have to put whatever list you're in there so my x list is in L3 comma above the 7, y list is in L4, so a second, 4. Okay, now remember, I want to put the equation into this y equals, okay? It allows me to do a lot more work with my for my statistics. So the, I want to put my y1 in here. So I hit vars, arrow over to y vars, enter, enter, okay? So now hit enter, and it gives you everything negative 2.78 plus 1.03 times arm length. This is my model. That's my model. So let's make a prediction. So it would say predict predict height from a student with arm span let's say 65 inches okay so if you think you could do this go ahead and uh, pause the video give it a shot okay if not follow along okay so to predict this this is my model all I would have to do is stick, is to insert 65 into my arm length. Do this mathematical operation, and that'll give me the height. Okay? So let's go ahead and do it on the calculator. Let's go ahead and quit out of that. So what I want to do is, like I showed you in the last video, vars, y vars enter for function, enter for y1, open parentheses, put 65 in here, and enter. 64.48. Okay? 64. So you would expect, expect a height or approximately 64.48 four eight inches okay so now let's look graphically what's going on there now I didn't show you this on the last video but if you run a scatter plot right now second y equals if you look at my plot one I have I have L3 in there I have L3 in my X list and I have L4 in my Y list and I'm selected on my scatter plot and I'm on so if I want to go ahead and um, uh, run a scatter plot with the zoom 9 it'll sh it'll actually put the line through it because I have my equation in my y equals okay it'll have a scatter plot with the lot with the least square regression line ru running right through it zoom 9 and there you go 
okay now if you see there's a line coming up through these okay that wasn't perfect this is not drawn to scale at all by any means and if you could see why it's not drawn to scale you're getting pretty good at this I'll explain in a second why it's not if you look at this least square regression line it's negative 2.78 so that must mean it has to actually intersect down here okay but it doesn't it intercepts above it but it's the lines above the first two below the these two and so it's not perfect to scale but it'll do for now okay so let's see what's going on here when you put 65 in this equation this is what's actually happening you put 65 and what it's given you is this right here it's given you here well this is two points this is a that's 65 and there's a y but that's actually y hat that's your prediction it's a prediction just below 65 it's predicting 64 and about a half 64 and a half okay so whenever you put a number into this equation it's actually taking you to the line it's taking you to the line okay so you could pl practice doing the same thing on a few other ones okay so now we're going to do the residuals now if you remember from the past the residual is the distance from this point here to the prediction line this point here so I'm dealing with 68 right now so 68 was the arm length and they and the observed is 70 so this is 70 high right there see that's 70 this right here I'll do a dotted line that's our prediction this is our y hat okay so distance in mathematics is a subtraction sign distance in mathematics is a subtraction sign so I'm going to do the higher one which is my y observed and this is the formula y observed minus the y predicted the y hat this is the predicted okay so it's always the observed minus the predicted okay so let's go ahead and find it for 68 so the resid for 68, this is for arm span 68 inches. Okay, so how much, what was the height of the person who was 68? So this is the point I'm dealing with. Whenever you do the residuals, it has to be one of your observations. Okay, okay so at 68, what was the height we observed? 70. So it's going to be 70 minus, okay. Now what was the predicted for 68? For 68, we haven't found that yet, okay? So we know how to find it, though. To find a predicted for a 68, um, I'll show you the other way, which is the table way. I'll show you that again, okay? So I'll clear that. Well, actually, I don't need to clear that. I'll just put 68. This is plugging in to my Y1, 67, 67.5. Okay, so the residual is 70 minus 67.593. So 2.407. Okay, and, that, and, and let's just talk about that for a second. Was that a, was, was your prediction too high or too low? Okay, so if, you, if your prediction came below your observation, your prediction was too low. Okay, they're going to ask that sometimes. Okay, so find a resid for, let's go to the last one, which is 74. 74 inches. Okay, so now let's go to 74. For 74 inches, how tall was that person? 72 inches. So his arm length was a little longer than his height. So it was 72. So it's going to be 72 minus, okay, whatever we find. Put it. Now what do I put in here? I put in 74. Arm length is 74. How much, what height do you predict? Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit better way. So here it is. 72, which is his height, minus, okay, go to your VARs, Y VARs, enter, enter, open parentheses, and now I want to put 74 in here. Okay, that's the arm length. The second part's given me a prediction for a person with 74. Now this person with 74 had a 72. That's what we what he had. This is what he predicted. 
predicted. Enter, and I get a negative, negative 1.8, okay? And to get this, I'll just go to my table real quick. Just put in 74. See, that bypasses this whole thing, so it's 73.802. I guess I could have just added this to that, but, but that's it, okay? So look what happens. You get a negative residual. That can happen. That's going to happen. So the distance from here to here, that residual is negative 1.8. Now notice what happened. When your prediction, when your observed was below the prediction line, you get a negative residual. When your observed is above the prediction line, you get a positive residual. That's just mathematically the way it's always going to be. Because if you see, here this number is the observed. This number is the predicted. The formula is observed minus predicted. So if the smaller number goes first, you'll always get a negative number. Okay, so was your predicted too, liar, too high or too low? Well, look at your prediction line. Or is your prediction line over the observed? Yeah, so your prediction was too high. I'm not saying it's really too, it's a bad thing. It was just a, a high prediction, okay? In this case, it's not such a bad thing. Okay, so that's how you do your residuals. Practice this stuff, you know, get used to it, get comfortable working with these, practice them on your own, you know, with the homeworks, and um, you should be just fine. Oh, thanks for watching.